Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to start with the class 1 maths chapter 1 that is finding the furry cat. Okay, so let's begin the chapter. Now what does this finding the furry cat means? Finding means they are searching for what? For the furry cat. Furry cat means a cat which has lot of hair on its body. Okay, now let's begin the chapter. Looking, 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 looking for my furry cat means these children are searching for whom? They are searching for their furry cat. Okay, this is their furry cat. Are you sitting on the window shed? See over here, the cat is sitting on the window shed. This is the window shed. And where is the cat sitting? The cat is sitting on the window shed. Okay. The cat is sitting on the window shed. So, these children are asking, Are you sitting on the window shed? Are you sleeping under my bed? Now, see, this boy is searching for his cat. So, he is asking, Are you sleeping under my bed? If the cat would be sleeping here, what we would say? The position, it would be under the bed. Okay, where are you my furry cat? Now he couldn't find his cat. It is not, the cat is not under the bed. So he's asking, where are you my furry cat? Looking, 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 looking for my furry cat. Now he's still searching for his cat. Are you inside the backpack? Now this is his backpack. He's searching his cat inside the backpack. Okay, inside means iske under. He's searching the cat inside this backpack. Okay, are you outside the red rack? Here we can see a red rack. Are you outside the red rack? Where are you my furry cat? Now this boy is asking, where are you? Are you outside this red rack? Come, 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 come to me my furry cat. Saw you scratching the bottom of my jar. He had seen his furry cat scratching the bottom. Bottom means this lower region of his jar. So this region is called the bottom of the jar. Saw you scratching the bottom of my jar. Saw you playing on top of my car. See over here you can see on top of his car. Who is playing? This cat is playing. So... Saw you playing at the top of my car. What did he see? He saw his cat playing on top of his car. Okay. Come to me my furry cat. He's saying his cat come to me. Okay. Come, come, come. Come to me my furry cat. Saw you hopping above the hat. Now here in this figure he had seen. What did he see? He saw his cat hopping above the hat. The cat is above this hat. Okay. The position is above this hat. Okay. Saw you hiding below the mat. Now if the cat is here, what is this position? It is called below the mat. Okay. Here comes my furry cat. Now after all the searching, his cat has come to him. Okay, so he's saying, here comes my furry cat. I hope you understood up to here. In this, what we have studied is, we have studied the positions. Positions where all the cat was there. Okay, like on top of the car, above the hat, below the mat. So, these are called the positions. Okay. Now let's do this exercise. Look at the pictures of the poem and encircle the correct word. The red ball is under the bed. Okay. Now in the picture above we have seen that here the red ball is under the bed. This position is under the bed. Okay. So here already it is done. The red ball is under the bed. The cat is dash the car. We had seen in the above picture 
the cat is on the car okay it was on top so what will we say the cat is on the car the cat is on the car okay now let's see the next one the man is lying dash the tree can it be on the tree no because he can't go on top of the tree and sit okay can it be inside the tree no it can't be inside the tree so the man is lying under the tree under the tree okay the cow is dash the house inside the house top of the house outside the house can the cow be inside no can it be on top of the house no so the cow is outside the house okay now let's do this exercise where do you put your shoes is it inside or outside the room so we remove our shoes outside the room okay so here put outside put a tick mark on outside where do you throw the garbage inside the dustbin or outside the dustbin it will be inside the dustbin okay because we throw the garbage inside the dustbin not outside okay so you will mark here inside okay now let's do the next one let us play find the things children can divide themselves into two teams one team will hide a few things like white chalk red ball and other items and ask the other team to find them children can also give verbal instructions to find things using positional words like inside outside far near above below okay now for example look for a white thing which is hidden near the board and under the table look for a white thing which is hidden near the board and under the table so you can hide a chalk piece near the table under the table and ask them to look for it okay look for a red thing which is outside the classroom and under the tree so you can hide anything which is in red color outside the classroom and which is under the tree so in this way you can play games okay now let us play throw the ball each child aims and throws the ball inside the basket now here you can see these children are playing throw the ball where are they aiming to throw the ball they are aiming that this ball falls inside the basket not outside the basket okay when the ball goes inside other children will say in and when it goes outside the basket they say out okay now whenever these children will aim at this basket and the ball falls here inside this they will say in but if it goes out then they will say out okay now let us do tick the things which are inside here these flowers are inside the basket so here we'll put a tick mark over here okay children here you put your tick mark then here this girl is inside the car so here we will put a tick mark okay now this man he is outside so here we'll not put tick mark and these flowers are also outside so here also we are not going to put any tick mark okay now tick the things which are outside this bear is outside so here you will put a tick mark okay this bear is inside so here you will not put a tick mark now this duck is outside so here we will put a tick mark but these toys are inside the box so we are not going to put a tick mark over here okay now look at the picture and tick the correct words a boy is sitting dash the tree here the boy is sitting is it on the tree no it is under the tree this position is called under the tree okay birds are dash the tree here you can see birds birds are on the tree okay these birds are sitting on the tree this position is called on the tree okay Now draw a smile below the nose and eyebrows above the eyes. 
Now here you can do this children on your own. Now look at our national flag which is also known as Tiranga. How many colors are there? Now do you know children how many colors our Tiranga has? Our Tiranga has three colors hence it is known as Tiranga. Okay. Now tick the correct option. Which color is at the top of the Tiranga? Now which color is present at top of the Tiranga? It is saffron color. Okay. Saffron color is present at the top of Tiranga. Okay. Which color is below the white color on the Tiranga? Now below the white color, which color is present? Green color is present. Okay. Please put the tick mark on green. Now which color is above the green color on the Tiranga? Above the green color, which color is present? It is white color. Okay. So first color is saffron, then in between there is white color and then there is green color. Okay. Where is the Ashok Chakra on the Tiranga? Is it present on the corner, on the side or in the middle? The Ashok Chakra is present in the middle. Here you can see it is present in the middle. And the first color is orange, below that is white and below that is green color. Okay. Chuk chuk goes our train. Chuk 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 goes our train. Over the hills and down to the plains. Chuk 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 goes our train. Bogies before my bogey. Bogies after my bogey. Now see, here I am sitting in this bogey. Imagine that I am sitting in this bogey. Okay. So there are bogies before my bogey also. And even there are bogies after my bogey also. Okay. So the bogies that are coming before. These are the bogies that are present before my bogey. That is in front of my bogey. So they are called before my bogey. And bogies are also present after my bogey. So these are called before my bogey. These bogies are called before my bogey. And these bogies are called after my bogey. Okay. Make a chain over the rivers and in the rain. Chuk, 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 chuk goes our train. Okay. How many bogies are there after the engine? How many bogies are there after engine? Now here we can see the engine. So how many bogies are there after the engine? After means back side of this. So let's see 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So, after this engine, how many bogies are there? There are 5 bogies. Okay. So, here for the first one, A bit, you are going to write here 5 bogies. Okay. How many bogies are there before the red bogey? Now, this is the red bogey. Okay. How many bogies are there before the red one? So, before means here in front of it. How many are there? 2 bogies. Okay. So, the answer for B is 2 bogies. Now fill the orange color in the bogies after the red bogie. So after the red bogie means behind this. Here these two bogies should be colored in orange color. Okay. Next fill the blue color in the bogies before the red bogie. So before the red bogie means these two. These two should be colored in blue color. Okay. Because these are before the red bogie. Now let us play. Children will sing the rhyme and play a game where they all will form a train by holding each other's shoulders. Everyone will tell who is before and after each child in the train. Okay, now you can do this activity with your family members, with your parents, with your siblings. You can form a line. Okay, and then here goes our train. Here goes our train. No one is before me and Mira is after me. So you can say that my so and so sibling is before me or my father is before me, my mother is after me. Okay. In this way you will learn the positions. Okay. Now Suwali and Rohit are making some groups of objects. Now here there are many objects pre present in front of both of them. Okay. I have put all the pebbles together. See here she is collecting pebbles. Okay. I have put all the leaves in one group and chalk pieces in the other group. 
See here, he is he is sorting out these leaves and chalk pieces. Okay, because there are many objects here. Now they are doing the grouping of the objects. Okay. Now let us do the grouping once again in using this example. Suwali so has placed all the buttons in three groups. Here there are many buttons. She has placed them in three groups. How how she has placed them in three groups? Based on their colors. Here she has separated out blue buttons, here red buttons and here green buttons. Okay. Why did Suwali make such groups? Okay. Now this is called sorting out. Sorting out. That is from a bunch of from a bunch of things we are going to make groups of similar things. Okay. So why did Suwali make such group? Now she has made such groups in order to keep these buttons sorted and so that they are not together. All the different colors are not placed together. Okay. I hope this chapter finding the furry cat is clear to you children. And with this chapter we have learned the different positions like above, below, on, inside, outside etc. Okay. Now, if you have any doubts, you can write them in the comment section. And if the comment section of any video is off, you can go into any of my recent posts and write your comments over there. Okay. Thank you everyone. If you enjoyed this video, do give it a like, share this video and subscribe to our channel. Bye.